All right, in this video, this is question 11 from the alkanes workbook, alkanes and cycloalkanes in organic chemistry. Um, in question 11, we were given the UPAC name of a molecule, and we're asked to draw the molecular structure as a bond line formula. The bond line formula, you remember, is something like this. So if we have a molecule CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3, one, two, three, four carbons, this is called the condensed molecular structure. We can represent it in a much simpler way like this. One, two, three, four, and that's called the bond line formula because the bonds are simply represented as lines. The carbons are, rep are assumed to be at these vertices. So those are your four carbons. And we don't even show the hydrogens. You're just uh, supposed to figure out that they're there. You remember carbon wants to have four bonds. So if you see this carbon has one bond, then you would deduce it must be a CH3. It would need three hydrogens to give it four bonds in total. This carbon has two bonds already. So to get four bonds, this must be a CH2. It needs two hydrogens to give it four bonds total. This carbon is the same way. It's got two bonds already. So to get four bonds, it needs two hydrogen atoms. So that would be a CH2. This carbon has um, one bond, so it needs three more. So it'll be a CH3. All right, so that's the bond line formula. And that's what we're going to be drawing here. So the first one says methyl butane. So remember, butane is going to be the second part, is the parent chain. Butane means four carbons, so let's just draw one, two, three, four. Okay, there's four carbons, that's butane. Methyl butane means there's a one carbon branch in the molecule. Now, could the one molecule could that branch be on the first or last carbon? Think about that. Could I put a methyl branch here on the first carbon or a methyl branch here on the last carbon? The answer is no, because if you did, the parent chain would no longer be four carbons. If I put a branch here, then the parent chain is five carbons. It would not be called butane, it would be called pentane. So if you have butane as your parent chain, you can't have a branch on the first or last carbon. So methyl butane, that means I'm going to have to put the one carbon branch on the second carbon in the chain. So I'll just put a branch like that. Now, what if you put it on the third carbon? If you put that, that branch on the third carbon, like this, then you'll notice that when you name it, you would have to start numbering your parent chain from the right-hand side. So this is actually carbon one, carbon two. If you number it like this, carbon one, carbon two, it's the same molecule. Because it's the same molecule, I don't need to call it 2-methylbutane. I can just call it methylbutane. If you did call it 2-methylbutane on a test, that would be perfectly fine. Okay? But for that one, because there's no uh, uncertainty where the branch has to be, you don't need to put a number. You can just say methylbutane. The next one is 3,3-dimethyloctane. So the parent chain is octane. It's got eight carbons. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's octane. 3, 3 dimethyl. What does that mean? Well, methyl is a one carbon branch. Dimethyl, there's two of them. 3, 3, they're both on the third carbon of this parent chain. So if this is carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3, this third carbon has two methyl branches on it. And that's, that's the answer. If you numbered from the other side, that would be perfectly acceptable. You could go 1, 2, 3, and draw the two methyls there. It would be the same molecule, just flipped over. So either one of those would be fine. 3-ethyl-2-methyl-heptane. So the parent is heptane. Hept means seven carbons. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's seven carbons. Ethyl is a two-carbon branch. Methyl is a one-carbon branch. The two-carbon branch is on the third carbon. So 
So if I number from this side, one, two, three, I'll put a two carbon branch, one, two. Carbon number two has a one carbon branch. Now if I started numbering from here to get the, the ethyl branch, I have to continue counting from here to get the methyl branch. So carbon two is this carbon. There you go. There is two methyl, three ethyl heptane. And again, you could have counted from the other side and called this carbon one, carbon two, carbon three. You could have put your ethyl branch here and your methyl branch over here. Either that would also be fine. Two, three, four trimethyl pentane. So pentane is a five carbon chain. So one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four trimethyl is meaning, telling me that there's three methyl branches, three single carbon branches, and they're on carbons two, three, and four. So I'll start numbering from the right hand side this time. So if this is carbon one, carbon two, there's a methyl branch there. Carbon three, there's another methyl branch there. And carbon four, there's another methyl branch there. And then I'm, if I'm done, I realize I could have counted from the other side and it would give me the exact same molecule. 3-ethyl, 2,5-dimethyl hexane. So hexane, six carbons, one, two, three, four, five, six. Carbon number three has a two carbon branch. I'll number from the right hand side. One, two, three has a two carbon branch. One, two. So there's three ethyl. Carbon two and five have methyl branches, right? The one carbon branch. If I started over here before, I have to start there again. So carbon two has a methyl branch. Three, four, five has a methyl branch. And there I'm done. 3-ethyl-2,5-dimethyl hexane. N-propane. N-propane means normal propane, and that just means the unbranched propane. That's a three-carbon hydrocarbon. So one, two, three. You could also just call that propane if you prefer. And finally, we have a molecule, 2-ethyl-3-methyl-pentane but it's been named incorrectly. We're going to draw it, and then we're going to figure out what its actual name should be. So pentane is a five carbon molecule. So one, two, three, four, five. Three methyl and two ethyl. So there's a two carbon branch on the second carbon and a one carbon branch on the third carbon. So I'll number from the left. There's a two carbon branch on the second carbon. So one, two and there's a one carbon branch on the third carbon. So this is this molecule here. But that name is actually wrong. Do you see why? Well, the longest continuous chain is actually one, two, three, four, five, six. It's not pentane. It's actually a hexane. And we should number, it doesn't matter which end we number from looking at this, one, two, three, four. Three and four have methyl branches. If we number from the other side, one, two, three, and four, we get the same name. So this is going to be three comma four, two methyl branches. So dimethyl and hexane, six carbons, is the parent chain. All right, so there's... Uh, little trick. It'll give you the incorrect name, draw it, and then figure out what the correct name should be. All right, so that's the reverse of what we were doing earlier in another video where it gave you the molecules and asked you to name them. Here we had to draw the molecules, and I think you'll agree drawing them is a little easier than figuring out their names.